Right, so another video from the car, I do apologise, but as from the title, you know what I'm about to start talking about. So yeah, Ferdinand obviously coming out, talking shit basically, it's just that, it's talking shit. Um, you know, obviously he's right with what you said about United, that, you know, they did stop our 10 game run, but he went on about it like, you know, United stopped us from winning the league or soon, you know, with 10 games, it's, it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but we haven't... We're not like competing for the title or anything. It's like he's gone gone about it a lot. He just stops like you know a team winning the league, and it's just it's, I just he, he took it a bit too far. But that wasn't the bit that annoyed me the most. The bit that annoyed me the most was his comments on it. You know, telling him to step down, um, and just know his place and everything. I mean, he he doesn't. I don't really know if he thinks. He's talking about Unai Emery. I mean, you're talking about a guy who's won like five or so Europa Leagues. He's managed Arsenal. He's managed PSG, and so on. Obviously, the multi Villa right now. But it's just, I don't understand where he's, why he's felt the need to say all this. Obviously, he's come out on you on on, on Twitter. There's you know there's videos on Twitter right now, um, basically him saying it. It's just, I I don't know the need. It was just distasteful I guess you could say um and just know everything he was talking about Fernandez at the end of the day yes Villa fans do not like Fernandez but so do the whole of the Premier League and some United fans why because he is a moaner he's a baby on the pitch you will see him on the floor the majority of the game demanding a penalty demanding a free kick a foul um you know I remember a few games ago he was getting a bit physical with the referee and not, nothing was said about that so, yeah, we don't like Fernandes. I just, personally, I just think he's a prick. But at the end of the day, the only good thing I can say about him, he will, he does all this for the club, don't he? He does all these little stunts for the club. So, it is what it is. I'm just glad he's not playing for Villa. But, you know, talking about Ferdinand, in my opinion, it was just not needed. It was just a lack of knowledge about Emery because obviously he doesn't know what Emery is like, you know. And in that he's a human being and everything. He's, he's talking about him like he doesn't know the game and everything. At the end of the day, this guy is demanding to have basically a facility at Bodymore Heath, obviously where the players train, so he can sleep there and do even more work. You know, we talk about a guy who's doing like 12 hours, 16 hours a day, just getting all the, the ideas and tactics into these players heads this guy knows what he's doing he knows football so yeah my message to Rio phone now he's obviously not watching the video but I just wanted to say uh if you're gonna slag someone off, someone off please just do your do your research on them um it was just out of order weren't it? it was just out of order but hopefully he knows, because there, there has been a bit of backlash on Twitter and everything. And it wasn't just Villa fans uh, coming out and, and saying this and that. At the end of the day, he knows he's done wrong, let's be honest. Um, but it is what it is, and at the end of the day, he's just made a very silly comment. And, you know, it, it does, the, the, the loss to United, it doesn't, it's not like a season defining loss at the end of the day. We've got Wolves next, and hopefully we'll beat them. Then we'll be back in the running for U European football, so... It's still looking good for Villa, but I just thought I'd get my opinions on it. Um, I might have just gone a, you know, a bit full round, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. He's basically just slagged my manager off. But yeah, up the Villa, the pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video.